So first of all, I'm gonna use the global command. I'm gonna use NASM for this. And I'm gonna say that my entry point is gonna be accessible outside of this program. And afterwards, I'm gonna use the extern command. And I'm gonna use this to use a function from Windows API. So I have opened up the documentation right over here on the right side for the beep function. This is a function that comes with Windows API and it enables you to generate simple tones on the speaker. So all you have to do is just pass in a frequency and a duration in milliseconds, and it'll just play it on the speaker. This pr uh, function accepts two parameters. Each one is four bytes, both are D words. So for this, I'm gonna use the following syntax. I'm gonna use underscore and then the name of the function beep, and then at sign and eight. So this is the convention for the names of the exported Windows API functions. So the eight is because you got eight bytes for the parameters, because each one is four bytes. And the underscore is just because that's the convention. So after this, I can start the actual code. So I'm gonna start the text section here. Before I'm gonna start the main code, I'm gonna make a little helper function here. So I'm gonna call it beep, small b. And all this is gonna do is gonna push the parameters to the actual Windows API function. So the parameters are actually pushed opposite from how it's written over here. So the first one is gonna be for the duration. And duration is gonna be always 250 milliseconds. And afterwards, I'm gonna pass the frequency in hertz. So this one will actually be coming from EAX. So I'm gonna change EAX each time I'm gonna call this function. And finally, I'm gonna call the beep function from Windows API. And I'm gonna return after this. Now I can start actually using it in my entry point. So I'm going to start it right over here. And I'm going to start by playing the C note. If I go right over here to this table, I can see musical notes and their frequency. So for C4, which is the note I want to play, you need to use this frequency. I'm going to ignore the fraction, so I'm just going to use 261. So I'm going to move to EAX. 261, and then I'm gonna call beep. And I'm gonna do this again, because you have two C's in the beginning. So this is gonna play something like this. So after this, I'm gonna play the G note. So I'm gonna use this frequency. And I'm gonna call beep again. And I'm gonna play this note two times as well. So it's gonna sound something like this. And then afterwards I need to play the A note, which is this one. So I'm gonna use this frequency right over here. And this is gonna be also twice. It's gonna sound something like this. And then finally I'm gonna play this one which is G again, and this is gonna be just once. So something like this. So I'm gonna finish off with just playing the G note from here. Let's just finish off with an infinite loop so it doesn't go ahead and slide to the rest of the code. So let's save this, and now I'm gonna assemble this. So I'm gonna start by assembling this with NASM. I'm gonna pass in minus F with Win32. This means that the format of the output file is gonna be for Windows. And then I'm gonna pass in the assembly file, abc.asm. Now I'm gonna initialize the build tools from Visual Studio using vcvars32. And then I'm going to use the link command, which is the linker. I'm going to pass in the object file that came out of NASM. So one thing we need to know before linking this with the linker, we need to know where this beep function comes from, which library. So for this, I'm going to go back here to the documentation of this function. 
And I'm going to go scroll to the end of this. And you can see this little table of the requirements. So if you take a look at the library here, you can see that it comes from kernel32.lib. So this is what I'm going to pass to the linker, kernel32.lib. And finally, I'm going to use the entry parameter to specify the entry point, which is main. And now I can run the executable. Let's listen to the music. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe for more assembly videos. Thanks for watching.